What is up guys, it's a wine turtle. Today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We have, we're trying again with two boxes, special edition boxes of Crimson Crisis. Uh, so if you didn't check out our next one, definitely check it out. We had Tamper Boxes. And uh, so I did contact the vendor and they did refund me the money, so that's nice. Um, and that was crazy. So the, like the seal was broken on the bottom and then when we opened it, it became super obvious. Because one, there's no promo card, and then the packs, which were obviously resealed, like you can see where the glue was. Um, the there was only three cards in each pack. So it was very disappointing. Uh, however, again, um, I, I don't want to say like who the vendor was. Just I don't want to really want to disparage them. Just because they were they were good about it, I kind of explained the situation, and they just all right, yeah, sorry about that, and we'll refund you the purchase price for that box. And so yeah, it all it all worked out. But uh, yeah, that was first. I was pretty upset about that. Not gonna lie. So yeah, if you open up product, and especially if you're maybe in a situation where it's like, oh, you know, I'm not might, might not open all these right away. It doesn't hurt just to take a look at it, um, especially if if it's like some sites where people might send in their their stuff, kind of like sell to the site and then they resell it. So, all right, let's get into these boxes. This one's kind of dinged up. But at least it was sealed. That's the important part. And uh, let's make sure there's actual promo card in here. All right, promo card. Passes the check. So hope everyone's having a good day, and uh, and hope you enjoy this vintage opening. These cards are, I think, like almost a decade old at this point. So if you did like, if you do appreciate the fact how old these cards are, you can let me know by hitting that like button down below. I greatly appreciate that. It does help the channel reach new viewers. And all right, garbage or car cardboard is all flying all over the place. Let's get into this opening. Let's see. I think last time we pulled a zombie card. Nope. Here's a goblin zombie. And goblin zombie again. What the? There's supposed to be in two of them. One, <laughs> want the other one. All right, we got six packs of Crimson Crisis. So this is one of those sets where you're only guaranteed a rare. So first opening was pretty rough. Uh, well, half our packs were tampered with. <laughs> only had three cards, and they're all commons. Uh, but we have yet to even pull a secret rare. And obviously, honestly, what we're going for is like the um, Archfiend Assault Mode, Dragon Assault Mode. That's what we're looking for, and uh, we've yet to pull even a rare, let alone ultimate rare, or ghost rare, or anything like that. And uh, all right, here's just just a rare again. Man, we are constantly getting shut out. Twin Sword Marauder and Morphic Tronic Mixup. Can't say I'm too crazy about this set so far. Like the cards, nothing just looks that exciting. Uh, I guess maybe that was just, you know, that was a long time ago and maybe before they really settled into, you know, let's just really uh, work on these, uh, all these different archetypes that we've created. We got a fake explosion, like these all feel very generic. A little Blackwing, Assault Overload, and then a Arcane Apprentice. Ah, another rare. Raptor Wing Strike, uh, Domino Gladiator Beast, Summoner Reactor SK, and then Psychic Sword. Whew, this set is brutal, guys. And are we... Forget, forget ultimates and stuff like that. Give me a super. Alright. And now I understand, like, why people are excited. People, like, get super excited about ultimates and ghost rares. Because they are very hard to pull. Trojan Gladiator Beast. Focus is kind of... Then a Salt Beast. Ooh, alright. Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. There we go. This is the card. Uh, so this is just the Ultra Rare form. However, this is the, the chase card for the set. So, uh, very happy with... Well, <laughs> quickly how the tides turn, guys. Uh, so you can quickly look at that. 3,500, 2,500 defense. Very cool card. All right, now let's upgrade. Let's get it. Let's let's get the... Basically the same... <laughs> dupe frog. Uh, yeah, let's dupe it, but uh, turn it into a ultimate variety or a ghost variety, maybe. How about that? Sweet. How, let's see. Can I be a little greedy? Although, really happy with that pull. Alright, so it comes after the rare. Dupe frog again. Half or nothing. Six scrolls of the Samurai. 
Assault Teleport, Blackwing Gale of Whirlwind. What a terrifying monster. And then boom! Vengeful Servant. Nothing there. Assault Counter, Blackwing. Just want to quickly check that. Yeah, there's no way I miss a hollow, right? Very unlikely. Uh, I was expecting it, anticipating for it to be in front of the rare as opposed to behind it, so I guess tech, uh, maybe I missed it, but that's very unlikely. All right, we got two packs left. Let's do this. We already got our ultra rare. Come on, the focus is struggling. Seed Cannon, Salt Slash, Dupe Frog, Flying Fortress Sky Fire. That's a weird card. And then, ooh, nice, another ultra. Blackwing Armor Master. All right, this, this second box is super, super clutch. Huge improvement over the first two. All right, what are the chances this box can go three for three? Give me that. Man, to be honest, I've never pulled a ghost. I never pulled the ultimate, even though I'm super happy with this opening already. Come on, let this be our first one. Cross Sword Beetle, Solar, Super Solar Nutrient. Arcane Apprentice, let's move these cards around. We have Assault Overload, Nightwing Sorceress, Metaphysical Regeneration, and a uh, trap card. It's probably, probably just a common. Boom! Trojan Gladiator, just a common. So we did pull two Ultras, and one of them being that the um, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. So pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, definitely hit that like button down below. We did pull two ultra rares out of these this vintage packs. Um, so pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more openings. Loving loving this Yu-Gi-Oh content. Um, and going to keep opening up more exciting stuff for you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.